Contact tracing is very important because by identifying these people who have come into close contact with these cases, these people are actually at higher risk of getting infected themselves and passing on the infection to other people. Contact tracing starts with the hospital contact tracers where they will interview the case directly to obtain the activity map of the movement of these cases 14 days prior to the onset of the symptoms up till the point where the patient gets isolated. Within two hours, these activity maps are returned to MOH, the, to the contact tracer team. Then we will review this activity map and verify the various information. There's only so much we can do to identify, put names to the faces. So this is when uh, SPF, they have been very helpful to help us identify these people. We typically receive requests from MOH uh, when the activity log of a particular patient is incomplete due to difficulties in interviewing a patient. We have the cases where the confirmed patients are actually taxi drivers. The difficult part comes when you have no identifiers, no identifications of the passengers who did not make any bookings. That's where we rely on very limited information such as the pickup and drop-off location of the cabs and then we have to activate our officers down to the specific location to try to look around for CCTV footage. One of our biggest successes so far has been the linking of the two church clusters at the Grace Assembly of God and the Life Church admissions. Through robust uh, investigations and data analysis, we were able to link it to the Life Church and Mission Clusters, which was in turn linked to two travellers from Wuhan. And this successful outcome was achieved through the close collaboration between police and uh, language. I think time is always the essence. You need to do things quickly because the disease doesn't take a break. Um, essentially, we need to move fast to establish the identities of these close contacts in order to facilitate MOH uh, efforts to contain the spread of COVID-19. We must all come together as one, each playing our part and staying strong and united to overcome this outbreak and emerge stronger than ever as a nation. I am extremely confident that Singapore can get through this because uh, the whole of government is making the best efforts to uh, contain this uh, COVID-19 disease. And I believe that open communication with the public is extremely important so that we can actually work together to overcome these challenges.